Hi guys, it's me Tracy. I just wanted to come on today because I just wanted to talk about refresh and renewing. Um, for the past, I'd say about two years, I have been saying that I was always going to be working on myself and doing things to cleanse. And so, um, I have been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off for like two years. Um, about three years ago, I became a vegetarian and um, did that for like one full year because I really felt like I was being called to become a vegetarian. And I did it for like a year and I felt really healthy and really good. And then I stopped because my doctor said what, that I needed to have a little bit more protein. So she kind of encouraged me to uh, start eating um, a little bit more meat. Okay, well now that I'm eating meat again, um, I don't have as much energy as I had. And I've been feeling a little bit sluggish. And just due to all of the stress... Um, some of you guys know that I am in a master's program for counseling psychology. And I've been working extremely hard to finish, and it has been a tremendous journey. Oh my gosh, it's been a tremendous journey, you know, and it's caused me to really work on myself. At one point in my life, I really felt like, you know, my whole closet was just really wide open. And, you know, God was dealing with me on the inside. And I'm telling you guys, those labor pains, that's what I call them, the labor pains of change, were not easy at all. It was a struggle. Um, went through a lot of things, and I had to clean house. And so, yeah, I, even through, I went through a bit of depression, um, clinical depression. I had to actually really work on myself. and But I'm feeling a whole lot better. But I'm still feeling like the Lord is tugging at me. And um, I still feel like I need to fast or cleanse or detox. And you know, I was looking a little bit ago at a video by Notoriously Nappy One. She posted a video at the beginning of the year saying that she was going to be making some changes in her eating regimen and moving towards healthier a healthier lifestyle with eating and that she was inspired by Natural Journeys. And Natural Journeys, I looked at her video and she was talking about how she was going to go on the Master Cleanse and I was kind of feeling like, okay, God, is that another sign? You know. So, um... I looked at her video and I was inspired by both videos. So I decided to pick up the book by Stanley Barrows, this book here, The Master um, Cleanser, and I read it. Very, very interesting. It's a good book. And then I made the decision that I was going to go on The Master Cleanse myself. Now, I have done Juice Fast before. Um, and I've always felt really good, you know, I just haven't done one in about three or four years. So, but this time I'm going to get ready to go on one and I probably will start on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so I'm kind of like picking out <laughs> and just eating like anything I want. Um, yeah. But my mind, I'm excited because my mind is ready. It's prepared to um, do this master cleanse. And I really wish that I would have saw um, Natural Journey's video earlier when she first posted it. Because I would have loved to go on the master cleanse when they all did it. But, you know, I really believe that in God's timing for everything. And so, you know... Um, that was just an inspiration. And so, yeah, I got the book and I ended up ordering my stuff and it came today. Here is my grade B maple, organic maple syrup that I will be putting in the recipe. Uh, so I have my two teas here 
the Yogi Get Regular, and the Peppermint, Purely Peppermint Treat Tea. This is kind of like for a treat. Um, the Cayenne Pepper, and these, these are actually the Cayenne Pepper Capsules. I am normally not a spicy person, so, you know, when I saw these, um, I purchased these ones, the Cayenne, but I probably will break them open. They're just a vegetable capsule. Probably it will break them open and then just put them in the, in the, um, lemonade, and if I just really can't stand it, then I'll, you know, take them by swallowing them. And then I also got my Organic Sea Salt, okay? And yeah, it's really, really fine compared to the sea salt that I cook with. But yeah, this is really cool and it's um, organic and it's kosher. So it's supposed to have a really better flavor too for the saltwater fleshes. So, and of course I got my organic lemons. So I'm all ready to go for doing my cleanse. And I'm going to just do 10 days and see what God says after that, after 10 days. If I'm feeling moved to keep going, I will. If I'm feeling like it's time for me to stop after 10 days, I will. So, yeah. Just wanted to kind of come on and talk about that because I really want to, for me, I really want to just refresh and renew. You know, I did a video where I declared and I decreed because I was inspired by Bronze Goddess who told her testimony and she was talking about declaring and decreeing and that was so moving for me <coughs> that I had said that this was going, 2011 was my year that, you know, new things were going to be happening for me. I was going to get an internship which I had been struggling with for the last six months. You know, and guess what, you guys? I just got hired um, for at a hospital. So, you know, God is already moving. He's already doing it, you know. I said that I was going to be walking in victory, and I am. You know, I'm happier. I got rid of, you know, some old baggage that really wasn't good for me. And um, I feel really, really good. And I'm at a point where I don't feel like I need to replace the baggage. The old Tracy would say, oh, okay, I'm going to get rid of this baggage. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look for baggage, you know, and I'm going to bring more baggage in. And I'm at a point now where I'm comfortable with who I am and I don't need that. You know, I have the Lord Jesus Christ and that's sufficient enough for me. He is sufficient enough for me. He is supplying all my needs. He is just taking care of me. So, yeah, he's giving me a peace. He's working on me on the inside. And I believe that the change is starting to really show on the outside. So I'm really, really excited about what God is doing in my life. Um, the experiences that I've gone through, even with my depression, I realize now when I got this job as the intern, um, I realize now that I had to walk down that journey as difficult as it was because it's going to help me to be a better therapist to help other people because now I have more of an appreciation for different types of crisis because I've been there, because I've experienced it. So I was like on training ground and the Lord is, has just really pruned me. So, and he still is pruning me. He's still molding me and taking my clay and, you know, making me new. And that's just like exciting. So I'm going to do this cleanse. I'm going to be praying and seeking his face and just, um, I am excited, you guys. I'm excited. So, yeah, new changes. And that's why I am going to go on this master cleanse. Um, thank you, Notoriously Nappy One and Natural Journeys for talking and sharing. Because if it wasn't for Notoriously Nappy One, who directed me to Natural Journeys video, I would never have even known about the master cleanse or doing the master cleanse. This 
this particular one. Um, I've always done other juice fasts, but this one, I really like the book. I really like what, what was in the book and read, what I read from the first page. So that was very moving. And I really believe that, you know, God brings people in our lives in his time for different reasons. And so he used those two women, Notoriously Nappy One, Bronze Goddess, as well as Natural Journeys. And I was directed to them as they told their stories from different perspectives because everybody's going through different things. But, um, yeah, so it brought me to where I am right now. So I just wanted to come on and share with you guys. I'll be starting that, and I will probably be possibly recording um, a little bit about what my experience is like so I can share with you guys. And I hope that I will be an encouragement to other people out there, too. So if you're going through a struggle, if you're going through change, just know it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. Because you know what? Change is like giving birth. You know, it's labor pains. Sometimes it's been very painful. Sometimes it doesn't look good. You know, um, it doesn't feel good while we're in it. But on the other side is true glory. And so... We just have to keep pressing on. Just keep pressing on because there's a prize on the other side. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Y'all be blessed and have a good night. Bye-bye.